Hello and welcome everyone to tonight's senior night match between Parlier High School and your very own Chowchilla Tribe. For tonight's match, we have the privilege to honor and shine a spotlight on three of our senior players. To start, we have Miss Lena Song. <laughs> Lena Song is escorted by fellow players Tasha Dickey and Giselle Andrade. Besides volleyball, Lena is involved in a lot of different clubs at CUHS. She is senior class president, HOSA president, CSF, STEM club vice president, a northern regional director of the Castle State Board, ASB officer, academic decathlon, and on the varsity swimming team. After this volleyball season, she plans to graduate at the top 1% of her class and attend a four-year university studying biomedical science. After college, she plans to go to dental school and become an orthodontist. Above all, volleyball has always been Lena's favorite hobby and a way to escape from school stress. Lena would first like to thank her parents for supporting her throughout her life, and especially during this season by coming to watch all of her volleyball games. She says thank you to her mom for always motivating her to work harder and her dad for always making her practice volleyball at home. She'd also like to thank all the volleyball coaches that made her the player she is today. Thank you to Coach T for introducing her to the sport and Coaches Savannah and Hannah for allowing her to have fun during gold volleyball. Her favorite memory in volleyball was beating Sierra during semifinals last season, playing alongside her older sister, Yenna, who she wishes was here, Emma, and her best friend, Avery. She'd like to give a huge shout out to her sisters, Hannah, Yenna, and Yuna, who always support Lena through every obstacle she faces. She always knows that they will listen to her problems and make her feel better. She'd like to thank her, her longtime partner and best friend, Avery. Avery has been Lena's pepper partner since middle school, and she is so grateful she is able to have such a fr great friend and teammate in her life. She'd also like to thank Coach Shelby and Sam for taking over the program this year and always making her strive to become a better player. Lastly, she would like to thank all of her teammates for being amazing and making her last year of volleyball very memorable and fun. Miss Lena Song. All right, next up we have Miss Avery Weens. Avery Weens is escorted tonight by her mother, Casey Weens, father, Robert Weens, oh, Tasha Dickey, and Danica Daniels. <laughs> she is being followed by her mother, Casey Weens, father, Robert Weens, and sister, Emily Weens. Avery plans to attend cosmetology school and get her cosmetology license. With her license, Avery plans to become a hairdresser and eventually become a bridal hairstylist. Avery would like to thank her family for supporting her through her many seasons of volleyball and selflessly spending entire weekends and extra long hours to watch her play the sport she loves. Avery would especially like to thank her pepper partner, Lena Song, who convinced her to try out for the Wilson volleyball team in sixth grade, and her mom, who surprised her with knee pads and shoes that same day. She would also like to thank her grandparents for their unconditional support the past six years, supporting Avery at her games and tournaments. Every hour she has put into the sport will always be cherished, as it has left her with so many memories. One of Avery's favorites will always be their Valley Championship game in California City last year. Although they lost the game, all the extra time they spent together as a team made it worth it. Another would be her club team spending long weekends with each other, whether it was at a tournament or their three-hour Sunday practices, which always felt more like 10. On that note, Avery would li also like to thank Coach T for running such a great club program in our small town and Savannah for bringing the fun back into the sport. Finally, Avery would like to give a special thank you to her boyfriend, Wyatt McBride, for always listening to her talk about volleyball and pretending to understand, and ultimately, ultimately being an amazing support system, Miss Avery Weens. <laughs> and last but not least, Miss Kaylin Haynes. <laughs> Kaylin Haynes is escorted tonight by Abby Pitts and Hadley Reese. Sorry. Whew. Kaylin is also being followed by her sister Haley and Brooke Haynes, her mother Holly Haynes, and father Wes Haynes. Kaylin plans to attend a four-year university to pursue a career in nursing. Kaylin would like to start off by thanking her team for making this year so memorable, and she's so happy that she is playing this last year with this amazing team. Thank you to Coach Shelby, Sam, Emily, and Hal for a great season and for making this such a positive experience. Kaylin would like to thank all of her family and friends who come to the games and support her. Kaylin would like to thank her sisters, Haley and Brooke, for always being her biggest cheerleaders, and her dad for always supporting her and encouraging her to be her best. Also, a special thank you to her mom, Holly. She has taught her everything she knows about volleyball and is the reason she plays. Her mom has attended every single volleyball game from middle school to travel ball and never missed a game. Kaylin would like to thank her for driving to all of her tournaments, no matter how far they were, being Kaylin's biggest supporter, and being the best pepper partner she could ask for. 
Finally, Kaylin would like to thank volleyball for being a safe space for her and providing so many fun memories over the years. She's grateful for playing volleyball here for the last four years, and even though it is sad to say goodbye, since this will be her last year playing, she's excited to see what the future holds. Number seven is signing out, Miss Kaylin Haynes.